What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video of Garage 859. Uh, here I have a 706 head. Um, I have been assembling it. I have another head on the engine that I have already assembled. Um, but I wanted to show, give a quick video of how to get everything ready uh, for the uh, valve springs and uh, the retainer locks to get everything uh, buttoned up and ready to go. Uh, for you guys that's just now doing this, um, you want to get your, um, I just call them a hat, bottom hat got your bottom hat that you put on there um, you want to go with make sure that you look at your valve seals uh, for my for mine uh, I had the BTR stage 3 and they have black for intake and red for exhaust um, you will be able to see a difference so please please make sure you you pay attention don't just start throwing seals on there your your day will be ruined. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get the right tools that we need to go ahead and get these seals. I left these two on. I've already, like I said, I've already been assembling this head. Um, if you can do two springs, you can do um, the other remaining 14. So um, let's go ahead and get this one buttoned up so you guys can see what we're working with. Alrighty, guys. Uh, so I have my head. You can see standing up because my valves so they can stick out um, that way I can put my seats in and be able to hammer them in um, I went and grabbed a 12 12 millimeter um, you want to take the open end and put it over the seals they'll walk right down onto it as such and then you'll want to take your hammer and just ta 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 and get that baby on there and then once it's sound you'll hear sound a thung you'll know it's uh, flat with the surface so we'll go ahead and grab our other seals and remember like I said oh, remember like I said um, we have our black then our red so intake 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 it's going to be the intake so that will be our black one Again, let's take our socket and just lot taps. Don't it's not a nail, so hit it super hard. You know, let's go with a 12 or with a 11. So, my apologies, it's 11 millimeter you will need. You can always see the uh, the guide and the seal. You can see a, a close clap, so you'll know for sure. Then take a little bit of lube wool around the seal, so it's much easier for it to go on. Then with our exhaust seal, try and want to push on there as much as you can. Then let's take our 11 mil. Put it back on. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put our valves back in. Always take a little bit of blue wool as well, throw it in there. Hashtag no dry starts. There. Okay, now you got your bottom hats that you set down. Got your bottom hats that you had set down. And we have our seals on. Okay, now is our springs. them your top hats. Okay. 
That's on. Sorry, guys. I had to cut loose for a second. I got the AC guy here fixing my AC. That try to protect my eyes. There's glasses for that too, but still. Easy does it. Mm. And we are done, boys and girls. beautiful little tool right there guys I got on Amazon found this tool uh, it is labeled as an LS valve spring compressor compression tool so that's what it'll be labeled as you can type it in on Amazon I gave about 50 bucks for it um, with all the hell that I went through with all the other ones definitely will buy this 10 out of 10 um, but that's it for this guys um, again LS head is LS head uh, valve springs are going to be different on all LS heads ex exactly well especially on all heads uh, with a single cam same stuff you got your bottom hat your seal your spring your top hat your retainers um, and then your valve itself so that's that for that I hope that helped you guys if you all have any questions hit me up in the inbox in the comment subscribe hopefully you all enjoy the video get advice for me on what to do like I say every video Hit me up. Thank you for checking in. We'll see you guys soon.